My Poco F1 was almost dead, but we did manage to bring it back to life. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And yesterday, I bricked my Poco F1. After I made my video about Corvus OS 6.5, I downgraded to MIUI 9 using the recovery ROM. Now once I booted into MIUI 9 and saw that everything was working fine, I decided to go back to 11.0.8.0. I did all the wipes and flashed 11.0.8.0. The firmware flashed but the system image did not flash and it ended with an error. I did a format data and reboot and said reboot back to recovery so that I can transfer the file again and flash it. Hmm, guess what? The phone never came back to life. It got stuck on the POCO logo. There was no recovery mode. There was no fast boot mode. When I tried to boot into fast boot mode, the POCO logo would disappear and the screen would still be awake but there was no fast boot logo so i thought let me try disconnecting the battery so you know i opened my poco f1 and then disconnected the battery connected it back again same thing disconnected the battery again and tried to put it on charging same thing and at this point i did start panicking because i was like it's not taking the charging as well so i was sad i was disappointed and I was looking for options. I was like, what next? Do I get another POCO F1? Do I get a motherboard and replace the motherboard on my own? I mean, I am capable of doing that. And then all of a sudden I realized there's something called EDL mode. So the POCO F1 was already disassembled. I just shorted the two contact points using a tweezer and then connected it to the computer. And yes, the phone was booting into EDL mode. The next thing was to find someone with an authorized EDL account. So I started searching on XDA developers and then couldn't find anybody. Then I did find someone who had done it on Reddit and then I searched on Telegram. So eventually I did find someone and they fixed it. Yes. As you can see, the phone is back running absolutely fine we are back and i am super happy now do note that edl service is a paid service right now not everyone has an edl authorized account and i do not know the details as to why that is and whatever be the reason but because only a few people have it it is a paid service and i did have to pay for it however it was not as expensive as getting a new phone or getting a new motherboard. So what are the things which you need to get your device back to life? For starters, you need to know how to open your device and then which contact points to short. Then you need TeamViewer, the latest version. You need the me account to which the device was locked. So you need those user ID and password in case you had a me account on your phone. If there was no me account on your phone, then you do not need it. Next up, you do need to download the latest fast boot ROM on your computer. Now I know that a lot of you will be like, oh, how can you trust anybody on the internet with your computer? Well, when you're in such a situation, you do have to trust someone. But my other piece of advice to you is that if you are very concerned about your data and the security on your computer, create a new account and you can use that, of course. The me flash tool which the other person is going to use will need to be run as an administrator and while we were doing the process we did run into an issue wherein my antivirus would delete two files from the me flash tool and then we had to disable the antivirus for say 15 or 20 minutes and trust me it took us more time to disable the antivirus and figure out why it was not flashing than to flash the device itself it took like the whole process took less than 10 minutes. So what is the purpose of creating this video? My purpose of creating this video is to let you know that one, make sure you back up your data because my device was formatted. Now for me, this device is my flashing device. So I did not have anything important on this, but those of you who have 
important stuff on your device make sure you always have a backup of your important stuff the second thing i would like to tell you is that the risk of bricking is always there i mean i've flashed my poco fn like countless times now but i did eventually end up breaking it the risk of breaking is always there and you need to keep that in the back of your mind now what about the person i used i found this person on telegram and he was very communicative and in case you want to use his services i will have a link to his profile in the description of the video now i'm not promoting him or saying you go get it from him if you use somebody else for an edl authorized account and they fixed it for you leave a comment on this video and we can add their profile or their services in the description of the video as well so there it is peeps i just wanted to share my experience with you and yes the poco f1 is alive and kicking and we are going to continue making videos for the poco f1 that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you